Come on, Brad, it's time to get up. It's five thirty. Okay. Five thirty in the morning. It's time to go and photograph Joshua Tree. Come on, mailman. Got it, Joshua Tree. <laughs> Joshua Tree National Park, man. How awesome is it, dude? Beautiful. Oh man, that was epic, dude. We um, we probably didn't get the shot we're hoping for. We haven't found the Joshua Trees yet, but we haven't given up. I'm, I'm driving on washboard. Road. <laughs> We're bumping along. Road. It's sorry as far as the noise, it's really noisy, <laughs> but just amazing mate. It was a beautiful sunrise, like yeah. no clouds, but I tell you what, just the colours bouncing around off the, the hills around us and the long shadows of the trees. Yeah, it was just amazing man. That's that's what it's all about, John. It's chasing the light, you know, chasing the shot that we we think we want to get, but sometimes you don't get it. Yeah, that's right. And it's all about being flexible, man, and getting out there. It ain't over, man. Look, I'm still keen to go and find a Joshua tree and take a photograph of it, man. So. I'm going to find one. Yeah, gotta we're going to do one. it. We've got to find one, dude. It's all good. It's all about the adventure, man. Where are you, Josh? Josh. Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. 1-800-BIG-JOHN. <laughs> cool. the sunrise now but we've found this amazing plant oh look at this thing it's like they've had so much rain here lately and you can see there's one actually over there we'll show you a bit later and it's actually it's dry and died off and I, I assume what's happened when the rain comes is it gets all these little leaves here and the tree gets to grow and get all its nutrients from the sun and uh, you can see there's some massive spikes as well so the sun is up so a couple of things we're, we're doing here with this composition is if you come over here you can see I've got these beautiful leading lines of the shadow. So my, my subject is totally backlit. The sun is behind it. So what I'm trying to do is get nice and low down to the ground, super low. Okay, that's what you want to do. And I can handhold these shots because there is enough light. Don't need a tripod. And one thing I've got on here is I've actually got the leveler on the back of the screen. So when I put the put my eye up to the viewfinder, I can see it in there. So it means I can get my horizon nice and level. Because you can see if I'm like this, I'm on a bit of an angle. So having that leveler in there makes it really nice so I can get my horizon straight in the frame. And you can see these beautiful shadowed fingers running up to the plant up there. It's just amazing. You just get this awesome leading line straight to the plant. But one tip when you're shooting into the sun, if you move around a little bit like this, what you want to do, you want to try and put the sun just behind one of the branches. And what that'll do, that'll pull the, the brightness down of that sun. You're still going to have a bright spot up there. And because we're shooting into the sun, it's okay to have that highlight quite bright. And the other thing I'm doing, I'm actually using exposure compensation in aperture priority. And I'm underexposing under -exposing the scene by about a stop and a half to two stops. Because I want it to be silhouetted because it is backlit. All right, so that's just a couple of little tips there. Now I'm focusing about a third into the scene here because I'm trying to get everything in focus at about an F8, so it's looking sweet. Always remember, even though the sunrise has come up, look for something interesting, have a play around with your compositions, and there's always many things you can photograph. You just got to get out there and use a bit of this and use a bit of your, what side of the brain is it, your creative side, Brent? Don't know. Well, that <laughs> side, the creative side of your brain and not the other side, and everything will be sweet. Found it. Super pumped. Our Joshua tree close by. There it is. There it is. Oh wow. They are cool. Turns out we come in the wrong side of the park to shoot it at sunrise. That's okay. We still get to see it, man. All right, have a look at this. The unveiling. Oh, we need some of that heavenly music. Oh. All right, here it is. All right, check this out, man. 
Look at that. How cool is that? Check out that baby. Wow. That is beautiful. It's such a cool tree and they're all in flower at the moment too. Good. So we found our breakfast spot and we're going for junk food. It's Danny's. Danny, Danny, Danny. What are we getting, man? We're in 20 Actually, farms. they got new buttermilk pancakes now. 50 cent fluffier. Only for a little bit of time. Purchase over $10 and we'll be doing it. Oh, that's a really good thing. Right yeah. over this Thank way. Thank you, dude. I'm going to two-bow steak and eggs. And we want espresso coffee. Espresso. Oh, okay. oh cool. Okay. I might get this one, dude. See? The All-American Slam. <laughs> what? What's <laughs> it? What's in it? I don't know, man. So you get three scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese, two strips of bacon, uh, two sausage links, plus hash brown, and your choice of bread. You ready to order, gentlemen? Yeah, yeah man. Oh, Sweet. Thank What's you. That good for us? I'll get the all American How slam. We doing? Yeah, you know, this is Andrew on camera live, <laughs> chilling. <laughs> chilling, What can I get for us? What's your name? I'm Andrew. Andrew? Yes. Okay. Yeah, what are you trying to get? Could I get the American slam? Yeah, how'd you like your eggs? Uh, oh wait, sorry, they come scrambled, scrambled with yeah. cheese, so that's good. Scrambled without cheese? Without cheese, you yeah. can do without cheese, bro. Really good, man. Uh, sausage, bacon, or both? Both. And hash browns or red potatoes? Uh, you can have like shredded potatoes or square potatoes? Square potatoes. Square potatoes, is. Don't be square, man. I'm square. <laughs> you know me, I'm square, bro. And we're Super pumped, man. We're in the Mojave National Reservation Preserve Place. We're at the Kilso Dunes. Check these out behind me, man. There's these massive dune system just up here. We've got about, oh man, I reckon we've got about a 45 minute walk. I'm all geared up. I'm super pumped. The other thing that's super cool, and you probably can't see because it's going to be a bit blown out, but look up there. That would be desert cloud. Desert cloud. Hell yeah. We're going to have a awesome sunset Johnny's very happy the sun's out it's nice and warm it's gonna get cold so I brought a jumper I've got some water I'm all geared up we've got the Mavic ah oh, man I am happy you blokes but I'm dead oh man we've just got to the hill bit it's soft as hell and whew. you know I'm not gonna blame it on this it was the Denny's I had for breakfast that's really playing up with me it's not about you know carrying a bit of extra storage it's all about the Denny's I ate for breakfast Maybe so. it's your backpack, the big thing on your back. nah it's not that heavy it's not that heavy, man. Yeah, it's a big thing on the front. That's what she said. <laughs> oh man. Look at that sun, it's dropping down. We gotta get moving, boys. We made it. I'm knackered, bud. <laughs> Oh,